Hello, Americans. Another friend, subscribers around the world. Thank you, man. <laughs> so, uh, this morning, it's Sunday morning. You're going to be watching this on Monday morning, which, uh, um, thank you to all everybody yes. for their service and their thank sacrifice you. on this Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. Um, which we kind of just hang out. I've said it before on the Memorial Day weekend, man. We think about people that gave and we stay out of the mountains because of uh, the craziness up there <laughs> during the three day holiday. Which it's been raining, man. We actually have a fire. I don't know if you can see the smoke coming out of the chimney. The weather has been, we've had a fire, mm -hmm. what, the last three nights? And two yeah. mornings, two yeah. or three mornings? Mm -hmm. but anyway, so this morning, man, one of my favorite shows, I've watched it my whole life. Um, all the way back to On the Road with Charles Carroll and all that is the TV, CBS TV show Sunday Morning. On the Road. Oh, uh, yeah. What? On the Road. On the Road. Yeah. So that's actually what we're going to talk about a little bit today is uh, um, what happens after van life and the nomad life. Because there's a segment on there today and it's called, uh, I got notes here, man. <laughs> so you see me looking down. But the segment on. Uh, the CBS Sunday Morning this morning was called uh, Free Willing. Definitely a segment you can go on their YouTube channel and stuff and see that, man. It is great, man. Mm -hmm. Old Bob Wells from Cheap uh, Arvine is probably the main main yeah. guy they talk to. And then they also talk to a uh, um, family, which this is the one that really hit home, but a family, uh, husband and wife and four kids living in an old uh, school bus that they fixed up nice, man. Yeah. Nice school bus. Yeah. But uh, we thought that we would talk, you know, because it hits home with us because um, we did this 25, you know, the art, the van, you know, it wasn't called van life. We were called uh, hippies and freaks. Yeah. <laughs> Back when, and you wouldn't believe, and I say it all the time, and I think I've said it, if you watch our videos, I've said it on this video, when we decided to homeschool our kids, move into, we actually moved into a motor home. Something similar uh, you know, to similar, this one. Yeah, similar to that one. And, uh, you know, we had a van too. Mm -hmm. But, uh, oh, we've always had a van. <laughs> but anyway, you know, um, when we chose to do that, sell everything off, move into a motor home, homeschool our kids, travel around the Pacific Northwest mainly, and... Um, set up flea markets and antique shows, you know, it was way before internet and uh, all that, where these guys, you know, that are doing it now, yeah. man, have got it made. Yeah, we had um, limited um, ways to make money. I don't know how, how much these two channels actually talk about <coughs> how they make money. Make um, living. Well, the one guy, the family guy, he is, which is pretty funny, you got to watch that segment, uh -huh. he is actually a financial, financial advisor, advisor. Right. and they ask him, you know, right. does uh, do anybody ever say, I don't know if I want to take financial advice from, from somebody that's living in a school bus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but you know? he wouldn't be able to do that. 25, 20, 25 years ago because of the internet. Right, exactly. And that's why, you <laughs> know. cell phones. Right. And the we didn't have those millennial, options. you know, the kids, you know, mm -hmm. the kids are, uh, our kids' mm -hmm. age are doing, you know, my kids ain't doing it, but. <laughs> you no, know, because they've done <laughs> it. They've done, did they've it. Done they, it. Done they grew it. up that And they way. know that they don't want to go back to it. Yep. And that's right. with us, right. And to. that's with us, you know, mm -hmm. Anyway, man, we'll start back kind of at the beginning of it, you know, and it was funny to see that segment on there because, like I said, man, when we chose to do that, we were criticized. We were threatened for people turning us into health and welfare yeah. and, yeah. Um, you know, you guys, man, what's wrong with you hippies, man? Are you guys on drugs? And, you know, I mean, yeah. it was just insane. And I say it all the time. If we were doing back, yeah, now. if we were in our 20s or whatever right. again and chose to do that, we'd have a TV show. Yeah. Because it would be hip. Yeah, it'd be it's hip, hip, you know, especially with the internet and all yeah. that. But that was all before the internet. So we wanted to kind of talk and touch base on uh, what happens after van life or the nomad life. Mm -hmm. For us, it's this. Yes. Yes. And um, after raising our kids, you know, I know Bob Wells, you can check him out, Cheap RV, and then he also has Van Life 101. The first time I ever seen Bob Wells, I didn't mean to go off the, that thing, but I just wanted to mention him. But mm -hmm. um, the first time I ever seen him was in a little documentary, a nomad documentary. Mm -hmm. And that was probably, I don't know, it was before he started his channel, so right, six or seven Now we years want to ago. talk about 25 years later, you know, and here we are. So for us, after living the nomad life, 
and is you know man you get on there especially some of these young ones and the the pictures of the hot mama you know freaking and man all grayed out the back side of the uh um van and you know shower and they're half nude on the thing and all that man that's great but that's not what it's really like no. yeah you have your moments i call that clickbait Click, totally I'm, because there's so many other moments that yeah. i mean that but if we had, I mean, you can actually look yeah. at some of the photos. The photo of you and the three kids out there, I mean, mm -hmm. that, you know, that could be. Because they clickbait. Yeah, click. Well, yeah, it was, it was real. You know, yeah. and there was times that you were the hot mama in the hot springs. And, I mean, yeah, you have those moments. But believe me, it is not always, uh, man, when you get up in the morning and every pipe, every everything underneath your motorhome or van is froze solid with ice. Mm -hmm. um, it's not that cherry little beautiful thing. So it's not a, uh, it's not all pleasure. Man, no. it's not an all pleasure cruise. No. Would we go back to the van life? Not full no. time. And that was, <laughs> yeah, and that's, no. you know, we lived that over, you know, I wouldn't give it up for nothing. Right. Nothing. The experience we yeah, had the experience. Was, um, you know, and nowadays it would be, I really think it'd be way more easier. Mm -hmm. It'd be because of um, money. Because, well, because of, yeah, to make money. Okay. Because it was tough making money. I think, yeah. you know, still living in a, but I mean, right. we live in a small, yeah. I mean, we live in a, you know, 38 mm -hmm. foot mm -hmm. vagabond. So, you know, other than the, the office off the front of it. Well, I think there's some things that even with technology that would still make it difficult enough that I would still say no. I wouldn't ask you, I'd just tell you. No. <laughs> Water. <laughs> Water is a big one for me. Um, when you're living like that, you have to find water all the time. Oh, yeah. you, you never have your own faucet. She's, gets, or well. she's back to being spoiled with a shower all the time. The shower. <laughs> the shower yeah. is nice. The full yeah. bath, full bathroom, yeah. and the yeah. you know, and all that. Yeah. So where we're at now, like I said, I wouldn't go back to mm -mm. full time and you know, no. we've done a few videos, you know, the little van life, you know, I've got the lady hot, you know, I got two vans yeah. um, and a motorhome. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, we enjoy going out, but we also rejoin. That was the one thing that old uh, Bob said, cause the guy brought up about his, uh, um, his recliner and right. he said, you got me. That's one Absolutely. thing I miss is my yeah. recliner. And I'll yeah. tell you what, you know, we get to travel and do mm -hmm. our things and you know but we get to, we got a recliner yeah and, and it's it's not exactly the physical recliner to me it's more of the idea of having somewhere to relax um because when you're on the road yeah. i mean you've got yeah you've got your bed and your driver's seat um, well we were in the motor you, could, you well, can take a lawn too. chair and throw it outside but it's still not that complete place that this is my land this is my home i can relax here right. Um, we've and we live 80% right of our lives out here, especially, yeah. I mean, yeah. we drink our coffee out here, we eat our meals mm -hmm. outside, you know, so, I mean, even, um, and that's what we did in the motorhome, and the motorhome actually, man, because it had the captain's chair, right. so the motorhome, it wasn't a recliner, so right. to say, but we had our, you know, obviously, most of the time mm -hmm. we were outside, mm -hmm. but when the weather was bad and all that, the, in, the motorhome was not, I mean, it was comfortable, comfortable. it was, yeah, yeah it was I mean, it was a pretty good sized motorhome, so it was definitely more comfortable. <laughs> Than a uh, well, I don't know some of those seats and then some of them vans. Yeah. Yeah. But I, man, we ain't gonna go off on that. I'm we basically I wanted to do this video of you know okay, so you're living the van life, you're 25, cruising around doing all that. You know Bob Wells, I think he's actually older than mm -hmm. we are, mm -hmm. um, and he's still doing it. You know, but he's just a single guy right. and ain't yeah. got a wife saying I want a shower and or a just, recliner or just a se second body. Right, you get that right. much um, living More. things that you need to survive, the living, food, bed, all that kind of stuff, for one person and if you're, yeah. in a tight van, yeah. then you add another body to that and it right. everything doubles. Yep, and then making the living, you know, the way we make our living, obviously mm -hmm. junking, you know, mm -hmm. obviously being a junker, which um, I guess I didn't when we were in the motorhome for the five years. I had a little cargo trailer I pulled mm -hmm. behind yes, this yes. man and hauled, you know, man, that was, you know, try to haul, you know, a 10 by 30 but, but, you know, I mean, it wasn't a fancy, you know, this was back before the fancy cargo trailers were affordable and all that, mm -hmm. you know, it was just a uh, truck bed trailer with a shell on it was what we pulled yeah. behind us forever, you know, man, and, oh, it was just, it was a yeah, lot, it was a lot of weight. One, the homemade, that had three walls, mm -hmm. but no ceiling. And then on the weekdays, man, setting up, we'd go and basically set up 
all our, you know, not all of them, but tables and stuff, because we'd make stuff, you know, yeah. we'd do crafts and stuff to sell at the flea markets on the weekends and stuff like that. We're t completely off subject like we <laughs> always are. And it's a longer video than normal, but some of you like that. Yeah. But, so what we wanted, 25 years later, mm -hmm. um, which it ain't quite been that long, but no. close. But anyway, 20 years later. Um, you know, so now you're, you know, you 20-somethings or whatever, or, um, you know, you're married, you got kids, or the kids are raised, you know, that's what ours, man, we, you know, our kids are all moved out raised, so we ended up, and it took us, I mean, it was a lot of footwork and stuff to find it, but we found us a uh, very affordable, cheap, you know, bare piece of property, and we still live we, you know, we always say, why would we go camp up on the, because right. we'll get up on the mountain and be like, oh, we should, man, we should camp Stay out here, you know, and stuff. And I then it's like, bed. man, I can be home in my bed in 15 minutes, you know, because we live, we're right on the verge of all that. So we've got the outdoors and all that. Our camping more consists when we go into town because yes. we're so far out. Absolutely. Yeah, so we end up yeah. camping out, you know, get a motel or my mom's got a camp trailer mm -hmm. for us back behind her Sleep place. Sleep in the van. Stay, yeah, stay Grab with family or whatever, you know. Campsite. Yeah, sometimes we'll go right on the outskirts mm -hmm. of town and camp out like that out of the van or sleep in the van. Mm -hmm. We slept with uh, the Lady Hawk and you guys, anybody that watches this, you know, that's when I'll do those little van life videos is we still... We'll live temporarily out of the lady house. The whole know, thing was, up, man, man, watching that and stuff and just bringing it back. For uh -huh. one thing is, you know, making it all cool and all that, which is awesome, man. You know, and man, we've always we always thought it was a cool way of life, and that's uh -huh. why we did it. Yeah. And man, all the power to the the kids and I mean, older people, whoever. You know, I mean, they've been RVing, and that was a comment that you made that actually we talked about too. Is the one thing is, there's actually a new documentary out, too, I haven't seen about the van life and all that. Mm -hmm. You know, and they make it all like it's this new thing. New Dude, path. it's nothing new. And that was yeah. a comment you made. Nomads and gypsies and, and, I mean, just humans yeah. uh, traveling and, you know, either camping out on the right. river, you know, or out right. of a wagon or out of a van or out of a truck. It's been going on since man, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> mankind, you know, so it's nothing new. Right. It's kind of like the... The homesteading, mm -hmm. and me saying that one time that uh, <clears throat> people are like, "Wow, man, it's so cool what you're doing." It's like, man, we ain't doing nothing our grandparents right. didn't do. Right. You know, there ain't. But one thing that um, he said, Bob said that um, it, the people that are doing it are basically rejecting some part of um, organized society. I That's can't true. remember his exact words, but it's so true because um, you 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 think that you have to live the way everybody else around you lives and um you don't yeah you don't that's, we live in america because we're free that's right you're man. free an american to dream, live the way you, you want know? to live well and the whole uh yeah not burying yourself in debt right and, i was gonna listen to the hard it could be earl roll yeah. on, to where we got to the point you know and then actually we went from the the motor home mm -hmm. um and bought that little tra or a crappy little trailer house and then uh broke my foot off, you know, and thing, you know, you just kind of roll with whatever's right. going on in your life, you know, and ended up all of a sudden, you know, man, had some decent, some, you know, decent jobs, make us some decent money and some credit and bought a house and, you know, fancy, played the, played the dream right. that, you know, that society tries to make you right. think. So we went and played that for five years and then the crash and that's, he was saying too, it put a lot of people right. into right. living, you know, that was kind of when he did it and stuff, living mm -hmm. into a van and living that kind of way of life when the crash happens because right. people lost right. so much stuff, yeah. you know, during that. Well, us, uh, the, our time spent living on the road, I, I think that it taught us what we really wanted, who we wanted to mm -hmm. be because um, it, it you, you see new things, you do new things, you live a different way. <clears throat> And having that um, knowledge of who we wanted to be and the way we wanted to live, when we were going <coughs> through the, um, the changes, like 2008, well, we already knew that we wanted to go back to something similar, maybe not the exact same situation. Well, we were, yeah, we actually had planned, the only reason that we bought that fancy house uh -huh. was we knew that Meridian, Idaho is where it right. was at. And uh, we knew that it was going to boom. Right. And so our plan was to buy this house, live there mm -hmm. until, you property know. Property values yeah, increased. Until, but then the crash happened. 
Yeah, but then it decreased. <coughs> yeah. And but now, if we had, yeah, if we had that place to yeah. sell right now, man, we'd be, be yeah, we would. It would have yeah. turned out just yeah. how we thought it yeah. was going to. It just yeah. was. Yeah. It didn't happen the way you know. Mm -hmm. Happened that way at the time, man. Completely off. Yeah. <laughs> we we tend to do that. back yeah. to where we're at now, and you know we don't want to. You know we still do. Like I said, we still travel in our vans. We still you know camp out here and there and live mm -hmm. out of our vans part time sometimes. Yeah. Um. But our thing now is, you know, we ain't getting no younger. <coughs> so that's where the homestead, and actually we wanted to homestead since we Before, were teenagers, Before man. We, we talked about it, yeah, man. We yeah. talked about back in high school. We talked mm -hmm. about having a piece of land and, Building you know, it and, and living it our own. Right, and building a homestead <laughs> and stuff. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, man, our channel, you know, started off kind of a homesteading thing and you know, right now we're homesteading weeds, yeah. lots of them because of all the rain. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is we got our piece of property and, you know, the pay, or well, it'll be paid off in four years, man. Yeah. And then our taxes are going to be like, what is it? 40 bucks a month. 40 bucks a month, you know, for our taxes. Um, you know, it's a poor county, all that. You can look all over and it doesn't have to be in Idaho or the Pacific Northwest, you know, just everywhere. Mm -hmm. But you have to do the footwork yourself. Yeah. You know, we did an owner carry on this place. <coughs> got it, you know, really cheap. Um, we, got it. we got our payments on this place is cheaper than what we spent on gas 20 years ago in that motorhome yes. you drive around. Absolutely. You know, so oh, yeah. totally. You know, I mean, our Absolutely. payment on this place is, I mean, it is peanuts. It's nothing. And yes, there are properties out there yeah. like that. Um, probably be, not in Idaho yeah. anymore because this place is insane. insane. Yeah, I mean, we could probably make a profit. Yeah, right three now, or four times our money on what we paid for this, you know, six or seven years ago. I mean, it, it it's insane. So I mean, but but not saying that there ain't somewhere, you know, in the Pacific Northwest or Idaho or whatever, you know, and whatever your dream is, you got to fall. But the thing is, man, you can do it in Ohio or you can do it, you know anywhere is to find yourself if you're tired of the van life or you you know you want a, a little taste a transition of it a tra and you know. not give it all up but still have a well, place to well or if you know somebody's like oh you know man i dig this van life thing but i don't want to live like that you know i don't want to you know or they don't think they can mm -hmm. find yourself a you know a cheap piece of property and you know and i mean obviously all the states all the counties everything's different Mm -hmm. But um, one way to save on like your taxes is you'll never see no foundations on this. Well, never say never because if I ever got a chance, you know, and got into money and could build me the big barn, my dream barn yeah. out here, then yeah. I, you know, it would have concrete. concrete and stuff. But man, if you're living on wheels, you know, the taxes are just, right. you know, cheaper. That's why we choose. That's why we live in a 1949 vagabond with a snow cover on top yeah. of it. You know, because it keeps everything down, keeps the taxes down to forty dollars a. Month, it's funny because you know? you'll think about these videos and what you try to put out there, yeah. and then when you try to put it out there, you don't, yeah. <laughs> everything don't come out exactly like no, you kind of picture. But the, where we're at and our dream, and we're still living the dream. Mm -hmm. You know, it's cha obviously it changes mm -hmm. as things do, but uh, now we're at a point. You know, man, our kids are raised. We have a. Uh, very inexpensive piece of property with a home on it. You know, we're hoping to get us another little mobile home out here, you know, down the road, but, and pay cat, you know, mm -hmm. or pay for it. I don't want right. no payments because our place is going to be paid off. Um, and then, and now we can travel, you know, we can still live the van life or the um, nomad life to a point, but yet come home mm -hmm. and sleep in a nice comfy bed, sit in our recliners. Do my laundry. Yeah, do um, the laundry, hang your laundry. You know, and everybody's, oh, I miss the out camping and the campfire and stuff. Yeah, I have three fire pits on the, you know, we go around, man, it depends if you want to be in the bushes, you know, do you want to soak up some rays I'm while you're sitting around the, yeah, what do you, what kind of thing, you know, man, I love my fires, I always Like I said, get on, on uh, CBS Sunday Morning's um, YouTube channel that they got, and they'll have that segment, and it's called Free Willy Man, and it, and it just hit home yeah. so much, you know, and listening to people yeah. talk, whether it be Bob or that family and stuff. The family really got to us. I was the one that yeah. got our juices flowing right. because it's like, man, they are, you know, because they're doing, 
You know, their kids are all well, we about did. the age our kids yeah. was. Yeah, they're doing what we're doing, and they're cool. They're on Sunday morning and everything, where 20, 25 years ago, man, we had people, yeah. you know, homeschooling was taboo and yeah. everything, man. And, you know, look at our kids, every one of them. Man, they're all, uh, you know. Very well balanced. Yeah, every well balanced, man, from, you know, great family life and smart and doing, Katie Joe doing her thing, car assistant manager, Kevin D, gra college graduate, man, and they were homeschooled. <laughs> Not so, all the way through, so everybody right, yeah. that told us all that, man, and we've actually had lots of oh, apologies. Yeah. Did you just try to get away from no, me? No, you bumped oh. the chairs. Um, they can all kiss our butts. We, yeah. were, we were right. You were wrong. Yeah. And we've actually had a lot of them come back yeah, and apologize yeah. and tell us how great our kids yeah. and that they regret ever saying or doing yeah. or whatever, all that stuff. But too late, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's water under the bridge now, man. Yeah. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Helps keep the lights on, the home fires burning. And good Lord willing, and the creeks don't rise. We will be back again tomorrow. See ya!